So in this video I'll be showing you guys and girls how to flash your ASUS motherboard with a USB flash drive. This should work as long as you have an American Megatrends BIOS. Now in order to check for that all you have to do is right click on your little Windows icon right here and select web. This is for Windows 10. Type in MS Info 32. And once you do that, you'll get a system summary and the information should be right here where it says BIOS version. And it says American Megatrends. So as long as it says American Megatrends, we should be good to go. Alright. So this consists of three steps. The first step is to make your bootable USB drive. The second step is to convert your ASUS BIOS cat file into a ROM file. The third step is to boot up into your UEFI and boot from your USB drive. And then everything will automatically be done for you. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download the files I provided for you with the link either in the description of this video or on the ROG forms. So once you go ahead and you click on that link, you're going to be brought up to this page. Now just select download. And your files will start downloading. It's a real small download. Alright. Now go to your download folder or wherever you downloaded it. Okay, and you'll see it there and extract it with whatever extraction tool you use. Alright. So after you extract it, you'll be left with this folder called Flash BIOS USB. Go ahead and open that folder. Now inside this folder, there's two more folders. One of the folders is called Tools, and one of the folders is called Copy to USB. The first thing we're going to want to look at is the Tools. Okay. Now the app which I'm going to be using is called Rufus. So go ahead and click on it. And run it. says, do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates offline or online? I'm just going to select no. Okay. So you'll be brought up to this page. Now on this drop down bar, you're going to want to select your USB drive that you're using. So go ahead and select it. Now where it says partition sheen and target system type, make sure you select the MBR partition for BIOS or UFI. Now for file system, you're going to want to select FAT32. Cluster size is everything in fault. Uh, new volume label, I just erased that. Okay, you're going to want to select quick format and make sure that's selected. Now, you're going to want to select create a bootable disk using, make sure you select free DOS. And then it says create extended label and I thought that doesn't really matter. So after you have everything selected the way I have right here, make sure you select your USB drive that you're going to use. Start. It says warning all data will be erased. Push OK. So we'll go ahead and it'll make this drive. shouldn't take that long. Okay, so there it is. It's done. Push close. Now, you're going to want to navigate to that drive. So for me, I'm going to go to this PC. Here's my USB drive. And you're going to see these files in there. Do not touch those files. Now go back to your downloads. And now go to the other folder, the one that says copy to USB. Copy these files to your USB. So we're going to copy. It says the destination already has a file name auto exit that. Just push replace. Alright. So here's your USB drive. You're going to want to put 
got through the site. Okay. Now you're going to want to go back. Now actually what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the BIOS file which you want to use. So, you know, um, uh, in regards to your motherboard, whichever motherboard you have, like for me, I have a Maximus uh, Hero 8, so I'll go to it. I'll select the BIOS. Let's see, I'll download. And I'll download version. 2202. So I went ahead and I downloaded that. All right. So now we're back in our downloads folder, and here's the BIOS. Let's go ahead and extract that BIOS. So now we have the BIOS, and the BIOS, as you can tell, is a .cat file. Now we can't use this for what we want to use it for, so we're going to have to change this into a ROM file. Now in order to do that, go back to the, the file which you downloaded, the flash BIOS USB, and select Tools. Now inside of that tool folder, there will be something called UEFI Tool. Go ahead and run that. Okay. Now, when you run that, this will come up. Now, this is really easy. All you're going to want to do: select File, Open Image File, and you're going to want to select the BIOS that you want to use. Okay. Now you're going to want it where it says right here, right here on this thing right here. You're going to right click. And you're going to select extract body. And it'll say image file. You're going to want to name this BIOS. And that's it. go to your downloads if you go back to the folder where you had uh, your original uh, BIOS file you'll see there's a new file called BIOS.ROM now this is the folder file you're going to want to use now you're going to want to copy this you're going to want to copy this file also your USB drive. Okay. So now you have all the files copied to your USB drive. You went ahead and you made, let's go over the steps again. You went ahead and you made your, step one, you made your USB drive. Step two, copied these files which say copy to USB to USB drive. Step three, you converted your cap file into a ROM file and then you copy that to your USB drive. Okay? Now that you have everything on your USB drive, you're all set up. So the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to boot into your BIOS and boot from your USB drive. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's um, boot into our BIOS. Let's restart. Now, when it boots up, we're going to want to be uh, mashing on this delete key. At least for my motherboard, your motherboard might be different. But usually on the bottom right here, it'll tell you what you have to do to go into your BIOS. So I'm going to see some motherboards start with... Um, this page right here. 
Now, if you start with this page, all you have to do is push F7. You see right here where it says advanced mode? Just push F7 and make sure you get into advanced mode, okay? Do any flashing. Um, the first things I do is I go and I take pictures of all my settings so I know what my settings are. Um, so I could go ahead and reinsert them. I could have something to look back at too. And the next thing I do is I go to tools. I mean, sorry. I go to wherever your uh, load optimized default setting is and make sure you load your optimized defaults. Okay, so now your optimized defaults are loaded. Now, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. It's up to you, but I just do that. Now, the second thing you're going to want to do is go into your boot menu. Okay, and inside your boot menu, you're going to see something called CSM. Okay, select that. Now, make sure CSM is enabled. Usually, when you select optimize defaults, your CSM is enabled. So now that you loaded your optimized defaults, uh, you selected CSM, save changes, and reset. All right, now you're gonna wanna push the delete key again or whatever you do to get into your UEFI or BIOS. Now that we loaded the optimized defaults, we saved it. Whatever it takes to get into your BIOS. So now that we're in the boot menu in our BIOS, we're going to want to select the USB stick. See where it says boot override? Okay, so I use my Kingston Data Traveler USB stick. So yeah, there's two of them. One says UEFI, one says Kingston Traveler. Select the one that just has your USB stick. Okay. Once you select that, it'll go ahead and load up by, your, by itself. We'll start reading the flash. Start flashing it. So basically what we did is we just went in our BIOS. We loaded the optimized defaults. We made sure CSM is enabled. And then we saved it. And then we went into the BIOS again. And we selected the USB drive. And we loaded out the USB drive. And now the USB drive is doing this thing. This is going to take a few minutes. After it erases it, it's updating it. I'm letting this roll in real time so you guys see, you know, how long it takes me. 
just, you know, so you guys know. After it updated it, it's verifying it, and that should be the last step. And it's done. And you see everything is done. And that's it. You're all good to go. All you got to do is turn your PC off and you're done. Start your PC back up into your settings. Get back into Windows.